The Sheikah, also known as the Shadow Folk. We have seen a lot of their buildings and items in the new Zelda game Breath of the Wild. But what is the history behind this clan? Their technology and artifacts? Who are they? The Sheikah are an ancient clan of ninja-like warriors sworn to protect the royal family of Hyrule, even after death. As such, they come to be known as the Shadows of the Hylians. They are very skilled in magic and combat. It is assumed that many died during the Hyrulean Civil War, and are considered almost extinct by the events of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. While three known Sheikah appear in the games, to maintain the mystery of the race, their emblem makes many small appearances in various games in the series. But of course, all of this changed because of the new Zelda game, because we see a lot of new Sheikah in the shrines. The physical appearance of the Sheikah is similar to that of the Hylians, only being distinguished by their tan skin, red colored eyes and extended lifespans. It can be presumed that the Sheikah are related to the Hylian race, due to their distinctive pointed ears and their ability to use magic. The Sheikah were originally servants of the goddess Hylia prior to her sealing demise and discarding her divine status to keep him trapped. Assigned the task to protect her reincarnation, Zelda, the Sheikah became protectors of her descendants who had become the royal family of Hyrule. The Sheikah maintain and pass on history and legends to their descendants, even prophecies such as the coming of the Hero of Time. One very interesting thing to note is that there aren't any male Sheikah. But all of that changed with Breath of the Wild. At the end of a shrine you meet a monk, who has a Sheikah symbol on his face, was blessed by Hylia and looks very old, maybe even ancient. But I'm uncertain if these monks are Sheikah and male, since we can't see their eyes and they look very old which makes it difficult to determine their gender. Now there are a lot of items and objects engraved with the Sheikah symbol and some were created by them. For example the strange stones known as the Gossip Stones are engraved with the Sheikah emblem. When spoken to while wearing the Mask of Truth, these mysterious stones can give Link advice and a background information on many things. It is possible that they were created by the royal family in order for the two parties to communicate with each other, as explained by the royal king of Hyrule in The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. On the official website of The Legend of Zelda, Gossip Stones are referred to as Sheikah Stones, that work as eyes and ears of Hyrule and Termina. The Mask of Truth is a mysterious mask shaped like a Sheikah symbol. The mask has long been spoken of by the Sheikah, and it is possible that it was created by the mysterious race. When worn, Link can communicate with Gossip Stones and gain their knowledge. At one point, Link must also retrieve an item known as the Lens of Truth, which allows him to see through various illusions. The Lens of Truth has a Sheikah-like symbol in the middle and three prongs at the top, indicating that this might be an artifact of the Sheikah race. Now The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild introduced a lot of new Sheikah related items like the Sheikah Slate. This stone tablet can be used as a telescope to scout the area and check the map. But this is not its only power, oh no. It has many powers which you can acquire at the shrines in the game, like stopping the flow of time for an object or creating bombs. You get these upgrades at a strange device. I don't really know what happens during this process. It looks like some sort of liquid drops on the slate. A bit like the tear from the Sheikah symbol. It is also unknown who created this item. But this isn't the only piece of very advanced technology. The shrines themselves are also highly advanced. They feature automated doors that only open when you use the Sheikah slate. Electronic barriers, mechanical enemies, lifts and way more. The only thing we know about the shrines is that they were built by the monks. Besides this, we also see robots. Yes, actual robots. These robots are called guardians, they shoot lasers and walk on tentacle-like legs and have something similar to the guardians from Skyward Sword. But it's unknown if these were a Sheikah invention. Another thing we see in the game that could be made by the Sheikah are the Shrine of Resurrection and the Towers of Resurrection. The Shrine of Resurrection is where Link wakes up at the beginning of the game. He has slept for a hundred years and eventually wakes up. Now we don't know the story behind this place, but there might be a chance that it was created by the Sheikah. The Resurrection Tower is a bit mysterious, since we don't actually know anything about them. The only thing it does is make the map of the area visible. Now the emblem of the Sheikah resembles a human eye, with three triangles above it and a large teardrop running down from the eye. 
The red tint in which the symbol can be found symbolizes the Sheikah's eye color. After Ocarina of Time, this eye design has made a few appearances throughout the later installments. In The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, there are several other items with the Sheikah emblem. The Howling Stones, the Wooden Statues, Zen's Throne, Scimitar of Twilight, Zelda's Robe and the Fused Shadow. Also, although difficult to see, a Sheikah emblem can be seen engraved in Midna's helmet under her hair. The places where Link enters into the twilight that covers Hyrule, as well as numerous places in the Palace of Twilight Dungeon also bear this symbol, which hints to the fact that Sheikah are connected to the Twilight Realm. Noticeably, the version of the eye symbol seen in the Twilight Realm is missing the three triangled eyelashes. There is also a Sheikah eye symbol initially covering the whole of the owl statue in the sanctuary's basement, and an eye which looks like the one in the symbol on the doors in the city in the sky. And strangely enough, we see the Sheikah symbol literally everywhere in the new Zelda game. The shrines, the slate, the towers and way more. So there possibly is a strong connection between the Sheikah and the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Well, let's say a chance of 100%. We have seen signs of the Sheikah in almost every Zelda game in existence. So it would be time for an explanation. And maybe Breath of the Wild will finally give us an answer. The Good Game Merch Store, with all new designs from all kinds of Nintendo characters, Mario, Link, Kirby and Monster Hunter. So click the links on the screen right now or for mobile and tablet users in the upper right corner.